Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the latest episode of Inside the Rare Tide. This is vlog number 16, and in this vlog I'm gonna be talking about the next stage of the business, which is an upgrade in digital capabilities. I have the new Canon G7X Mark II series. I'm sure you can already tell that the quality is much better. Secondly, gonna be talking about going to China, getting the visa ready, getting all the documentation, the flights, the accommodation, and proving to China the reasons why we're going there. And then last but not least is the film that I'm gonna be shooting next week, which is The Wandering up in Toowoomba starting Sunday, and it's gonna be for two week so I'm very excited about that so stay tuned see you guys soon so yesterday end of the financial year went down and got myself a new camera pretty excited it's the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II series it's definitely an upgrade from the iPhone camera um, yeah so can't wait to bring you guys you know better quality videos all right let's get it out and see how good this thing is So the best thing about this camera is it has the monitor you can flip around to the front so you can actually put it in selfie mode. It's definitely better for vlogging, which I'll be doing all the behind the scenes stuff with the business. Um, way better quality than what I've got with this phone. Oh, look at that. What's happening? That's crisp. That's very crisp. <laughs> this is the new camera, the Canon G7X. Thanks for coming, Tax Man. <laughs> oh, it's not even the Mark II. Oh, it says it on top. <laughs> Yes, hello. Nara. Nara. <laughs> so I just want to talk about the quality of this camera. Totally stoked. Spent the money, yes, but it was before the end of the tax year, so I've got a couple of discounts at JB Hi-Fi. Quality's amazing. Just went and tested it out down at Cooley with Mira and Hashi, and um, yeah, totally stoked with it. So, you know, gonna have much better quality videos from now on, so it's definitely gamer, baby. Yes, I think it's pretty obvious that you can see the quality is much better. Um, yeah, definitely going to be stepping up my vlogs from now on. Better quality, you know, the whole thing is just going to be sort of ramping up from here on out. That was the plan. I wanted to start with an iPhone and eventually work my way out to a camera, but there's no point purchasing the camera at the start. I didn't actually have the money for it, so I started with the phone, worked my way into editing and figuring out all the things that I've needed to from there to now. I'm a really firm believer in um, creating content if you can't create content you need to at least document and sort of have something going up every week so this has been my sort of journey into learning how to create videos for you guys and obviously showing you the backside of what it's been like going from a tradie to a business owner and you know the processes i'm going through that so keeping myself to that weekly post has been you know trying to find things to post about isn't that hard because i've got so much going on but you know making sure that i film it the right way say the right things and le learning how to edit all that to make it so it's something you guys want to watch so the next thing I want to purchase is a laptop and some editing software. Um, the editing program that I'm using is it's a bit outdated and it's not really going to be able to cope with the, um, the quality of the footage that we're getting from this camera. So I'll have to get a new laptop and get the new editing software to all sort of work and make things a lot easier because I'm spending quite a bit of time doing the filming but then uh, it's quite a slow process to get the editing right to where I want it to be. The next thing for the business is to get the visas in order. Uh, I'll be going over with a business partner of mine. We have to get a letter from the manufacturer in China proving that there's a reason why I'm going to China. Obviously, paying for the flights and the accommodation as well. They request these documents to obviously prove that you're going over there for a reason. And um, yeah, to be able to claim that on tax, you have to keep it within a you know short window. So we're only going over for about three days. It's going to be pretty fun flying into Shanghai, stay for a night in Shanghai City, and then going up to the province, which is like an industrial area, about three hours north of Shanghai, and that's where the factory is. So I'll be going there for about a day or so, half, you know, about a half day, a couple of hours, meeting with them, getting some footage of behind the scenes, really seeing how the systems work. I want to be updated with what their quality assurance measures are because I've heard some stories and read a few articles about, <laughs> read a few articles about getting uh, your first initial shipment from China, from factories, and they do the first one really good and everything's absolutely perfect, but then when you don't go over and check up for the second one, they actually, sometimes, the quality can come down. With the materials that I'm using, that's definitely a high quality material and yeah, I just really want to cross-reference with their quality assurance measures so that, you know, I believe that when the products come for the second shipment, which will be around November, maybe early December, that they're going to be of the same quality as this shipment. Flying to China is definitely something I've never done before and obviously trading internationally as well. So I've actually got a friend of mine who's done a bit of international trade. So I called him up the other day, finding out exactly the best things to do, you know, within the, the Chinese culture. It's something that I don't have um, 
any experience in doing so yeah definitely getting some pointers is the best thing for me first hand pointers of someone who's been doing international trade for quite a few years it's definitely the easiest way to figure out exactly what you need to do so I've done my research you know spoken with him and found out that you know I've set up a bit of a, a plan there so I know that everything is gonna be done is you know done right obviously with the transfers from the airport to where we're staying and you know being able to get through customs quite easily without any dramas that are going to make anything difficult we want this to be a really smooth process so you know the next time we go back it's going to be an enjoyable time as well i'm really looking forward to it going to document the whole thing that's another reason why getting the camera is so crucial kind of you know want to have the really good content for you know my first flight overseas international for business so really looking forward to that and I can't wait to show you guys the footage I'm just you know, very excited. The company in China has also agreed to let us film the meeting of uh, the owner in China his name's Charlie he's become a dear friend of mine just through emails and phone calls backwards and forwards and organizing you know the last six to eight months of you know the business and the manufacturing and we've become friends it's actually really good custom in China to meet with someone that you're working with. I didn't really want to do just emails and phone calls. It just doesn't have that personal touch. And because I'm starting a business, I definitely want to have a good connection with the company that's manufacturing my goods. So flying over there, meeting with him, and just seeing how the business works is definitely the best thing to do. So yeah, looking forward to that. So next week, Saturday, I'm actually starting the film, The Wandering. Very excited. Uh, it's, it's always fun getting prepared to do a new role. Obviously getting into the characters with the beard and doing all the, uh, the screen meetings that we've been doing over the last few months leading up to it. But breaking down the script and really learning those lines is the, um, you know, the nuts and bolts of how to really become that new character. So leading up to going away, I'm gonna be away for nearly two weeks. So leading up to that, it's obviously a lot of script breakdown, character profiling, and all the, all the things that I need to do to sort of get into character for that. It's very exciting times, um, but yeah, I'm gonna be doing lots of big days. Film sets are usually sometimes eight, 10, sometimes 15 hour days, and nighttime shoots as well. It's getting down to like two degrees there at nighttime, so it's gonna be pretty cold, but you know, it's all, it's all good and fun. And I need to make sure that everything for the business is gonna be able to work while I'm gone. So Simon's so up to date with the course, and I've had to let the NICE program know that I'm actually gonna be away and won't be able to receive and reply to emails. I'll try to get a couple of nights off um, to sort of make sure everything's running smoothly. I'd really like to just have the next week leading up to it, you know, just not thinking about much else except for the script because I really want to, you know, put as much effort into that as I can because it's a deep passion of mine and I really want to do well for Corey and, you know, I think The Wandering's a great script so can't wait to show you guys a little bit behind the scenes uh, next week with the vlog as well so stay tuned for that too. Alright my friends, just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning in this week. It means a lot to me to, um, you know, be sharing my business journey with you guys. I'm getting some people messaging me, uh, DMs and stuff about their own little journey, about some of the, you know, some of the content that I'm putting out of them actually getting in contact with me with some of the journeys that they've started to take themselves, you know, working towards their dream jobs and some side hustles. And it's just so inspiring because it was only like a few years ago that I'd really decided to make this change and only six to eight months now that I've actually been on this journey. So yeah, keeping the comments up, liking and sharing and subscribing means so much more to me. So. Yeah, I inspire you guys to sort of, you know, take some steps towards doing what you want to do because it's such a better life and I'm so happy with where I am at the moment and it hasn't even begun. So, really appreciate it. Thanks so much, guys. I'll talk to you soon and, uh, yeah, stay on the grind. Yeah, I can't believe how good this camera is. It's actually showing all my blemishes. <laughs> Damn.